The Commodore 64, also known as the C64, is a home computer that was released in 1982 by Commodore International. It was a revolutionary computer that brought affordable computing to millions of households worldwide. The Commodore 64 was one of the most popular home computers of the 1980s and early 1990s and still has a dedicated fan base today. It was the brainchild of Jack Tramiel, the founder of Commodore International. Tramiel was a Holocaust survivor who had emigrated to the United States from Poland after World War II. In the 1970s, Commodore International became one of the leading manufacturers of electronic calculators. However, the rise of personal computers in the late 1970s threatened to make calculators obsolete. In response, Tramiel set his sights on the emerging personal computer market. He wanted to create a computer that was affordable, yet powerful enough to compete with the likes of Apple and IBM. This led to the development of the Commodore PET, which was released in 1977. After the success of the PET, Tramiel set his sights on developing a new computer that would be even more affordable and powerful. This led to the development of the C64, which was first conceived in 1981. It was designed to be a low-cost computer that could compete with the more expensive machines on the market. To achieve this, the designers used off-the-shelf components that were readily available at the time. The result was a computer that was powerful, yet affordable. After perfecting its hardware and software, it officially released in August 1982. It was an instant success and quickly became one of the best-selling computers of all time. The computer's success can be attributed to its low price point, powerful hardware, and large software library. One of the key features was its sound and graphics capabilities. The computer had a dedicated graphics chip and three sound channels, which made it a popular choice for gaming. It also had a large library of software, including productivity, games, and educational. Internally, it has an 8-bit MOS technology 6510 microprocessor running at 1.023 MHz, 64 kilobytes of RAM and 20 kilobytes of ROM. The computer also has a dedicated graphics chip called the VIC-2 that supported 16 colors with 320 by 200 resolution, and a sound chip called the SID. The Commodore 64 also has its own operating system, called the Kernel, which has basic 2.0 programming language built in. Ports-wise, it has two for the joysticks, serial, parallel, RF, cartridge-slash-expansion, user, and composite video outports. There are also optional hardware accessories made for the computer, such as a 5.25 floppy disk drive, internet modem, printer, memory expansion cards, and a cassette tape interface. The computer had a significant impact on popular culture in the 1980s and early 1990s. It was widely used in homes, schools, and businesses, and was a popular choice for gaming. It had many classic games, such as Maniac Mansion, The Bard's Tale, and Load Runner. C64 was also featured in popular movies and TV shows of the time, such as War Games, Terminator 2, Judgment Day, and Saved by the Bell. There's even a dedicated magazine, called the Commodore User, which was dedicated to news, reviews, and programming tips just for the computer. Despite its early success, it began to lose market share in the late 1980s and early 1990s. The rise of more powerful 16-bit computers, such as the Commodore Amiga and the Atari ST, made them look outdated. In 1994, Commodore International filed for bankruptcy and was liquidated. The rights to the Commodore name were sold off, and the company ceased to exist. However, the legacy lives on today, as retro computing enthusiasts continue to use and develop software for the computer. The computer was so popular, it left a lasting legacy in the world of computing. It was one of the first affordable home computers and helped to popularize computing among the masses. It also had a significant impact on the gaming industry, with many classic games being made for it.